Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media for great production content. In this machine tutorial, I wanted to take a look at sampling, specifically the two ways we can lay samples out across the pads. And they both have some pros and cons. I just wanted to run through them real quick. To get started, I got this basic beat going. I think it's going to be an electro swing kind of thing. And I've got a couple of sample chops already ready to go. Now I put them in a keyboard mode. We got that one, and then. I think that should be kind of fun to work with. But I wanted to talk about this difference because normally what we have right here, we're mapped onto one pad, and then the different samples are laid out. Something. They're laid out chromatically from the bottom of the scale. Usually it's a C minus 2. In this case, it's C minus 2. And that's all well and good. And we can get to them. Just we got to, you know, go into pad mode and hit octave down, etc. And there they are. But what if we want to do some pitch shifting or pitch changing? Unfortunately, if I want to do that and I come over here to tune. So everybody shifted and that's no good at all. That's because it's all the same sound, just sliced up and laid across the keyboard mode. The other way we can do with this, and we need to make sure, first of all, that our pad is in choke group master. And we want to go back to our sampler instrument. We want to make sure our polyphony is set to one. But now we can just duplicate this. And then because the next sound is one semitone up, all we have to do is make sure we're in pad mode and go up a semitone. And just keep doing that. So duplicate, semitone. Duplicate, semitone. Now every one of these is its own sample on its own pad. And I can pitch shift them as I need to. So that's a pretty big advantage. It's a little bit more work, but it works really well. The other advantage if we do that to the other one as well is we get both sets of pads laid out. Come over here. There's some great stuff in there, but I can't play that at the same time as the other samples. And so I'll do the same thing again. And semitone up. Duplicate, semitone. Now I've got a lot more creative options. So let's clear that pattern and try it again. And I like most of that, just this one little bit I gotta lay back in. So I think I'm on the track of something. I think I can work with that. And so we can see how just by doing this duplicating lane across the pads, I had all the pads available to me. And if I wanted to, Oh, 
So you get the idea, but it works pretty well because now I can pitch shift, now I can lay things across multiple pads, and I don't have to worry about issues regarding pitch shifting. So it's worth checking out. It's not always useful, but it's a pretty good tip in a lot of situations. So I'm Stephen Ellistead for ADSR. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel, and we'll see you on social media. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.